Hey, what's up guys? Nathan, welcome back to another video. Now I'm just leaving Flitwick. Uh, I've come here to look at a Yamaha YZFR7 because I've never seen one in person before and I, I, I had to have a look. So I had a look and the bike is stunning. Although the one they had was missing a couple of panels up near the rear seat so it didn't look complete but there's sideways behind me. No, I've got another bike behind me. So yeah, I do apologise if there's a tapping on the side of my helmet. I did try to secure the mic better, but I can't seem to get it to stop. So I might have to like um, adjust my helmet mount to try and get the microphone to dangle. So yeah, guys, I've just been back from um, Flitwick having a look at the R7. Uh, it is a very nice bike, as I was just saying, so I kind of forgot to talk for like half of my ride back. Um, I was just kind of chilling, going down some dual carriageways for a bit. But yeah, so, I'm currently near Milton Keynes, which I think I've rode around with some subscribers before. It's just, there is a quite nice big road, which we don't see on the channel a lot, so this is, this is quite nice. I fully despise any road built like this. Don't you dare do it. Don't do it. Good. Hooray! But yeah, so... Um, today we're not really going to talk about anything specific. We're just going to have one of them ramble moto vlog kind of things where we just chill and talk. Uh, much like the one that I made, what was it, the world's best moto vlog or some, something like that. It's going to be like that one with no actual aim, so we're just going to kind of talk together. Um, you know, one thing I have noticed about this CBR is... It's incredibly, um, what's the word to use, wind repellent. Because of its weight, I don't get blown about in the wind. Whereas I remember being on my 125, which I think is a good 40 kilograms lighter, I think, from memory. Um, and it used to just get blown everywhere. I've also got my quad lock back on, so hopefully it doesn't fly off. Uh, I'm 22 minutes away from McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying I'm getting an R7 by going there. I was just having a look just because it's a big 700cc bad boy that I've never actually seen in real life, which I learnt my lesson about seeing bikes in real life with the R125 because in 2019 when they changed the design, I was disgusted by it. I was like, uh, what the hell is that new shape? That looks disgusting. And then I went to see it at the NEC and I just fell in love completely. So I've learned, always go look at the bikes you buy before. Which I feel like is an obvious thing to say, but it wasn't for young Nath. Because young Nath just bought any bike he saw on the internet that thought looked cool. So I learned my lesson, so I've, I've gone to look at that R7 today and um, kind of get a feel for it. Do I like it? I also got to look at some R1s, some MT07s, MT09s, SPs, MT10s and all them. You know, all of the good stuff. Um, just to get a feel for what Yamaha, I, 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 yeah, blah, blah, what Yamahas I like because I don't. I've never been to a Yamaha dealer yet. My whole channel is full of Yamahas. Um, so I, I'm kind of just going bike shopping at the moment. Middle lane. Um, yeah, I'm just going bike shopping at the moment just to see what I like for the future. But, um, I'm going to Donington Park tomorrow, which has Superbike Factory, because I'm going to look at some... Uh, they've got everything, to be fair. Alright, hang on, this is going to take some big braining. Right, middle lane here means straight. You know, I don't know, you didn't indicate, I don't know a single person that likes Milton Keynes roundabouts. And then first exit. They're just so lethal. And nobody indicates. There we go, we made it. We made, we made it, Woo! But yeah, so I'm going Donington Park. I have put it on the Discord so subscribers can also come down. And we're all gonna go view some bikes together because I think that'll be so cool. We're gonna have a walk around. Middle lane again because for some reason they're all lane marked. So like people in Milton Keynes just don't know how to drive or something. Like they have to mark every lane for them. Hey! 
Where am I going now? Straight over again. Lovely drop, easy ride. But yeah, I've also started driving lessons as well. So I, I've started whipping about in a car. Um, I got my t car test in May, and everyone's going to be like, "No, Nate, don't buy, don't buy a car. We'll lose you on the motorbike." Ah, oh, oh no, dickhead bus driver. Yeah, yeah everyone was like, "You're going to sell your bike for a car?" I'm like, no. I, I, oh, I've done my car, so one day I can buy a van and buy more car, more bikes, and then I can just be like a collector, because that's all I really want to do is collect bikes. Right, where am I going to this roundabout? It's Google, tell me, tell me, straight over, middle or third lane? Nice and easy. We're 19 minutes from McDonald's. Can't wait to get a big tasty with bacon into my stomach. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, traffic. Straight over Eva Lane, lovely. Uh, uh, I got a big bike in front of me as well. That's a unit compared to mine. Look at us, we're doing, we're doing slow traffic rides. This is why you cover it on your mod one, guys. It's alright, he's behind. You're trying to kill us. <laughs> it's so dark and gloomy today, honestly. Right, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. It's just because this is a big roundabout. Straight straight over, easy work. Oh, this is just me focusing on the road, doing my slow moving at maneuvers, like in my mod one. Why is it so busy? Why is everyone going straight over? Where does that go? I mean, not not for us. I mean, they're all going, oh, to Milton South and Stadium MK. Look at that one. That's an old scooter. Not old, but it is a scooter. <sighs> Lovely. Our turn. But yeah, my heated grips are a fucking saviour today, I'm telling you. It's freezing. It's colder tomorrow when I go a two-hour drive to Donington. You know, j just so I can see some bikes I can't afford. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. 16 minutes on McDonald's! Uh, I'm so cold as well. Like, I want to get um, a heated jacket insert because I think that'll be cold. I think that'd be nice and warm actually, it would not cool. Sorry about the tapping on the side of the helmet. I, I am trying to sort it out, I promise. I've got to readjust all my setup and everything to get the mic moved and everything. But, da -da 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 -da. but yeah. So the day that this video comes out, I'll probably be sat at Donington with a sore ass because I rode a Honda all the way there. I wonder if I get a sore ass on an R7. What about an MT? I guess we'll never know, is it? This is another three lane guy. Another no one can drive in MK. 
That's what I call these roundabouts, and no one can drive in Milton Keenabouts. God, this is a shit place to drive, isn't it? I used to thought these roundabouts were fun back on my 125, but I only ever went here when it was like dead quiet in the summer, like late at night or early in the morning. I never went through it at 2 o'clock on a Saturday, fuck me. It's lethal. But we're, at least we're getting somewhere. Another roundabout, because, you know, just in case we haven't done enough guys, we're doing another one straight over again. Uh, I'm shouting, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, another three laner. This one's called Wood Mill Hill Roundabout. I don't see a wood mill and I don't see a hill, I only see the roundabout, so I don't know why it's called that. Oy! I do love, I'm, uh, this whole kind of stretch of road I'm on, it's called H8 Standing Way. And it's one of the main, it was one of the main roads I actually learned how to ride a bike properly down because everything is just so fast paced and repetitive. But it, it just taught me how to react to certain situations as quick as I do now. So I am incredibly grateful for this shit road. But my god, is it a shit road? Uh, 15 minutes from McDonald's, let's go! Right, coming up to another roundabout. So guys, remember, mirror, mirror, lifesaver checks, signal, zoom across as fast as you can. That's how you do... Uh, what was that? Motorbike just went away. Is that my motorbike vomited? Well, I suppose these are quieter roads now, by the looks of it, because the quality is shocking. There we go. I nearly died on a roundabout once. It was after I came off, was it the A40, A30, no. There's a dual carriageway near me, pretty much. Hello. But I, I came off of, and there was just a strip of potholes on the first lane, and that was the lane I was in, funnily enough. So pretty much as soon as I came off the roundabout, I ducked straight into potholes. Bearing in mind it was like 11 o'clock at night, pitch black, and I had shit headlights. It was fucking petrifying. My God. All, all I felt was the bike, it would like dip down diagonally, and then start bumping up off to the side. So I was like, okay, how do I save this? What do I do? What's my plan here? And they think. And in the split second, my plan was to turn my handlebars to the left, to see if I can land in the hard shoulder, and I did. Shit. God, that it could have given me a bit of warning of that bullshit. That, that was not funny. You can't turn a dual lane into a set. Oh, you have? Fucking good, that's where my McDonald's is. Thank you for visiting Milton Keynes. <laughs> Happy to be gone. Happy to be gone. I'm sure everyone in the comments agrees that Milton Keynes is a pretty shit place. Yeah, 12 minutes from McDonald's. Woo, I'm gonna keep counting down guys. You guys get to sit here and witness me get closer to McDonald's. Bearing in mind when we started, yeah, we had like 50 minutes until McDonald's. So I think this is a, a, a reward for my ear. Sorry, for my the Christmas trees, but you're a bit out of season, love. Um, this is a reward for me riding all the way to Flitwick to look at things I can't afford. I also spoke to one of their sales reps for a little while about something I can't afford, so... Yeah, I need some comfort food because I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah, they've also got the new Yamaha tech hoodies and everything. If you guys have come to my meet, I normally wear one of these Yamaha hoodies sometimes. And, oh, the new ones are amazing. They've got the genuine Yamaha racing technology logos on as well. It's incredible. They had an R1 here as well. It was the R1 60th anniversary edition 2022. It was like 18 grand or something. But I, I, I just, I don't like the colour. I, I, I don't get this yellow and white colour in it. it. I understand the appeal for it. No, don't, don't get me wrong. It is, it is a nice colour scheme and it's different but I don't understand the appeal to me, if you get what I'm saying. But the Yamaha Blue, spot on. Although, the R7 in black, it should have been matte black. <laughs> if it was matte black, I would have bought it today. 
because matte black bikes just hit different to me, 100%. Or even if it was mo a bit of matte, a bit of shine, something different, that would have been incredible. Because if you guys remember my R125, the multicoloured one that turned black, that was undercoated grey and then top coated black. So it is, it is amazing. And it looks stunning and it fit the rest of the bike. There was also matte slash shiny black. So why isn't the R7 matte black? Come on Yamaha, step up the game. Also, Yamaha can I have an R7 for free because we, we, we could work a deal out. I sold quite a lot of Yamazakis back in the day. I'm sure I could do the same for the R7. Ch you challenge me, I can do it. Come on Yamaha. Just drop me a message. My email is in the description below. Just, just send me an email, Yamaha, saying, Hello, Nathan. You can have an R7 for a week if you manage to sell two. Or, yeah, make me a deal. I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, and Jess wants to get on an MT125. One of the ones with, I want to call it mint wheels and then like grey and orange fairings. I think that's the best way to describe it. And my balls hurt. And I'm sorry for the detail. 10 minutes from McDonald's! 36 miles, 5.7 miles, so I don't know why. Oh, 9 minutes! Three! It's only 9.6 miles now. 5.6 miles, so I don't know why it's going to take so long. Straight over the next roundabout. I've also figured out I can fit my headphones into my hoodie, which is incredible. Into my hoodie, into my fucking helmet. Nash. Oh, we're not far now. But yeah, once we get to McDonald's, it's only like a 10, 15 minute ride home. So... I do like to get a hard bit out of the way first and then have a stop and then I can just finish off here yeah, straight over. But yeah, I'm thinking about if I do get an R7 or an MT, one of the most important things to me, two of the most important things is colour and exhaust. So first I've got to decide on a colour that I want to have. This The next bike I get, if I do get a bike, it might be the end of the year, next year, whatever. Oh! Fuck, what are these? Ow! What was that? <laughs> God, I take it back what I said about Milton Keats. Fucking bucking them. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that hurt my everything. Who patched in these roads? Oh, my groin, my balls, my ass, my wrists, my arms. I was talking about exhausts. Hey, hey, back to what I was saying. So, two colours that are black or Yamaha blue, but colour isn't really a big, um, it is a big thing to me at first because I like to show off my bikes a lot because I like my pride and joy. Um, it's the... Um, you can just get fairing kits to change it, I suppose. You just buy a kit from Yamaha or something, or Honda or Suzuki or whoever you buy from. Um, hold on, Jess. But yeah, the other thing is the exhaust. I need my bike to sound good. And I don't mean, when I say good, I don't mean loud as fuck so much your ears bleed. I want it to be loud, bassy, but at the right level where it's sensible and you can appreciate it. Like my Honda, I love it, perfect. I do wish it was a bit more throaty though, which is why you need the CP2 engine or the CP3 or the CP4, whatever you, you know, decide. Um, so yeah, that's my point there. So Yamaha do two exhausts that look exactly the same. They have the R7 Aquapovic Titanium exhaust, uh, which I think is 1.7 thousand, but it comes with a catalytic converter and a DB killer, which apparently doesn't make it sound as nice. Um, the other one they do is an R7 Titanium Aquapovic without a catalytic converter and without a decibel killer and it sounds throaty as fuck. So I've got to find out the difference between the two and then buy one for the cost of two months wages. <laughs> Which is bullshit. Am I near McDonald's now? Six minutes! Whoa, whoa. we're nearly there. But yeah guys, this is going to be a bit of a longer video today because I've got like an hour of riding today and I've recorded for, I think, I, I've been recording since the start but I didn't talk for like 20 minutes just so I can get out, out on the road, make sure I got the right way and everything. 
and I hurt and this was painful but tomorrow should be even more painful because I decided to ride two hours and it's colder than today so I've got to wrap up doubly warm uh, I'm waiting for a roundabout not a junction this is fine this is wonderful them roads hurt me so much ouch but yeah I'm not doing any excessive speed or anything today guys I'm just kind of going for a chill ride because it's nice to get out and not just think about racing it's nice just to have fun with the bike Whee. yeah guys if you're thinking about getting a new motorbike let me know in the comments what you're thinking about getting because um, there are a lot of stunning bikes out there I, my personal thing is something I went to research today if you like was R7 versus R3 versus MT-03 versus MT-07 on an A2 license and then I have to think about the future because I'm, more, I'm, I'm doing my A so I will need a faster bike next year next June it is so it's not far at all I've already had my A2 for nearly a year so I'm halfway through so it is really just about you know getting the right bike for you because there is a lot of comparing to do so that's pretty much what I've been doing today and I'm going to stop for a burger in five minutes because I am a hungry boy wait is this the roundabout with McDonald's on? no way no way oh uh, and guys apparently I'm giving away an R1 a subscriber reminded me the other day saying Nath, you, if you said if you hit 10k by the end of 2023 you'll be selling an R1 for free to a subscriber so guys apparently there's an R1 somewhere for free ah Buckingham and this wasn't a roundabout with McDonald's on so now I feel sad but it's the next one we're three minutes away from McDonald's so we are nearly there but these we've been on these roads together um, if you go back on my channel you guys are probably not interested but if you go back like three years ago four years ago now uh, back when I was on the Yamazaki we actually rode around these roads for a little bit because the Yamazaki was getting repaired by cheap bikes for us and I actually went to Milton Keynes through Buckingham so there's a cool little bit of trivia for you we've been here before with a GoPro Hero 2018 back in the day there there that's got my McDonald's yeah here we go so I'm only like 15 minutes from home now so I can sit down have a big tasty and you know just just chill for a bit really ah uh, lovely right, come on guys you're coming to McDonald's with me to be fair if this was a meet up 100% we, all, we always have McDonald's together oh what a twonk That guy's just acting as a shield for me. Nice. So how do I now get into McDonald's? That's the question. Oh, it's up here. It's another roundabout. The light's red. You need to go. Ah, uh, it's always a roundabout. Oh. There guys, so let me know what bike you want to, even if you're not going to, let me know what other bike you'd buy apart from yours. So make your comment be like, I have this right now, this is what I would like, and and uh, then tell me why you'd upgrade from it. So like if you have an MT-07, tell me why you'd buy an MT-09, because I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think, because that's just as important as, you know, my opinion. I always listen to you guys. You guys are like my best friends. Ah, uh, so this is the big choice. Would you like Tesco or McDonald's? Meal deal or fatty burger? Fatty burger. Oh no, we've gone to Tesco anyway. We've been conned. We've been scammed. Is this a roundabout? What is this? I have nothing but confusion for this Buckingham McDonald's. I'll follow this big yellow M. Follow the big yellow M knife, it takes you to your big tasty. Um, num, 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 num. What the fuck, 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 fuck. I'm nearly at the speed limit and I got my clutch in. <laughs> Doink. We're a hundred yards away. 
Okay. I was too busy watching people nearly get run over, sorry, hang on. Okay, right, it's one way. What? Okay. Then it's this way. Perfectly not confusing. I am so cold, guys. Like, I don't think you guys comprehend the, the coldness in my cold. Although... Uh, Still going strong. But I'm not even that far from home either, so I've 16 minutes isn't bad at all. And it's mostly dual carriageway, so I'll go with my half a tank of petrol. What are you doing? It's just, just knocking on my helmet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that whip. I bet he's got more CC than I do. Can't see the road. Fuck it, I'm a go. Ah, oh, back on the road properly. Lovely. I am unbelievably cold. It's time for some heated grips, I think. There you go, I'll put them on 100%. Don't you do it. Yeah, no, we're really not far at all, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll probably go down the dual carriageway for a little bit with you guys, and we'll probably finish the video off. I've got some more stuff to say. I cold. <sighs> ah, a nice bit of traffic. Oh, my helmet strap is hurting my neck. Hey. Yeah, also, another cool thing about the R7 that I saw on their display model is they have a, um, what's it called? They had the quick shifter on it, and it looks amazing. Uh, I'm in Tingewick, sick. Come on, helmet, D missed. Look, look at these potholes around here. Sometimes it's just better to be safe than sorry, guys. But yeah, believe it or not, we're now on the dual carriageway I was talking about earlier. Um, so, I'm going to start talking for a little bit again. I've got 11 minutes until I'm back anywhere remotely, but you guys will recognise. Um, so it's quite nice to do these different rides. Um, what I want to ask you guys is the videos that you want to see. So the views are up, the watch time's up, everything is going well. So the videos I am producing I believe are better. So you guys got to tell me whether that's true or not for you below. And I want to know what videos you guys want to be seeing on the channel because I don't want to be posting stuff you guys don't want to watch. So, and another comment <laughs> to, to telling me what you want to see. And the most liked comment, guys, so the most liked comment is the video I will do unless it's illegal or stupid. So if you guys, you know, tell me to go out and buy an R1 and then crash it into a wall, no. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. But let's see what the most liked comment is on the video and that is what I will do as a video. But tell me what you guys want to see as well because that's also important to me. Um... You know, it's especially important because I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. And guys, can you believe we hit 4,600 subs nearly? Are we over that now? I think we are actually, which is incredible. Uh, 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 my God! Now I, I took a break for a while. Um, yeah, I took a break for a little bit because I. Wow, I'm closer than I thought I was to home. I'm like five minutes now, ten minutes, but yeah. So, yeah, what, what, what I'm trying to say is if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be here so thank you and you know you guys just uh, you're great honestly 
I, I, I took a break when I had like 4,100. I came back to like 4,500 or seven. Uh, I don't know what happened. I saw these random spikes where I was getting over 100 subs a day for like no reason. And I was like, I, I, I sat down with myself. I was like, sh should I get the camera out again? Sh sh should I do it? Should I get a GoPro on my helmet again? Because I, I even got to the point I had the uh, microphone out of my helmet. I was just... I, I, I was just relaxing at that point. But there, there was not really anything that I was doing for any certain reason. I was just riding because I have a bike. And then I picked up a camera up again and I made, you know, another video and it was amazing. I did great. And then I, I've been inspired ever since. And even YouTube shorts are out now. I upload, you know, three, four, five a week, depending on how I feel. And they're, they're doing great. And guys, it is honestly amazing. I've on my whiteboard at home where I do all my game development stuff uh, I've written down my views last Sunday and my views are, uh, last Sunday and then I'll put them to the, for this Sunday and my views have increased by over 5,000 this week alone which is incredible um, so guys do join the discord server if you haven't already because there's a lot of stuff that my channel is going to be doing this year 2023 is going to be a big year for the channel i'm not joking drain Oop. talking of drains jess pointed out to me that on the way over i'll have to try pinpoint it for you guys on the camera so you guys will probably already know there was a manhole cover in the middle of the road that was uncovered for the actual drain didn't have the cover on it and i nearly went in it which is lethal to think I would have just thrown my Honda into the drain. Ah! I'm speeding. Sorry guys, please don't comment. Please don't tell me I'm a speeder. And we're nearly there. We're eight minutes away. I love my quad lock. See, I, I know where I'm going ever since I left McDonald's because I used to ride around there all the time, but I thought I'd leave the quad lock on with the GPS. Because it's something different for you guys to look at if you get bored. I don't know if you can see it's Peppa Pig! I love my Honda. My Honda's great. I've just passed 10,000 miles as well, so I'll be making a 10,000 miles on the Honda CBR tomorrow, probably. And that will go up next week. So I'm actually a week in advance on my videos now, which is great! because that's better because I used to record on a Sunday and edit on a Sunday and upload on a Monday or Sunday evening Sunday evening, Monday morning but now that I'm a week at whoa that's a windy boy now I'm a week ahead I'm actually starting to I can put more effort into my videos again because I've been studying Premiere Pro more um, especially colour correction I hope you guys uh, are enjoying the new colour um, profiles I'm using because it makes everything look amazing to be fair so I've, I'm really learning harder, of learning more about YouTube and the thumbnails, people have already told me they're amazing, like Joseph, he's great. Um, telling me about how cool they look and everything, which is sick. But yeah, sorry about the tapping on the helmet, I promise I'm trying to get it to stop. Cut.
But there we go guys, so now we're getting back into places that you're going to recognise because we're back into the hometown but you know so guys today has been a rather long video of a uh, rambling um, you know, so if you have made it this far through the video comment down below hot dog and that, that's how we'll know if you made it but anyway guys if you did enjoy the video please do share it to everyone you know especially the channel as well join the discord leave a like subscribe you know the drill guys and i greatly appreciate you all but anyway thank you all so much for watching this video I've told you what to do if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Whee!